So did you ever dream, I know you're a sci-fi fan, I know you're a big Star Wars guy, yeah. that you would be a part of one of the biggest sci-fi phenomenons. So when you originally signed on, what was that feeling like? No, I mean, it, it, it was hard for me to believe, it's still hard for me to believe at times. When they, when they called, uh, when I was actually in, in Vegas for the Mayweather fight, and uh, they, it was early in the morning, and I got a call, and they said that they wanted me to be a part of this thing. And I, it, I didn't, pro it took me a while to process it, and then I was like, so do, do I need to go, do they want to, do I need to go do this or do that? And then, no, 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 this, they want you to be a part of this thing. So it's still, t today, it's still hard for me to kind of put it together in my head that I am a part of it. Yeah, because yeah, it's such a big deal. Yeah. Um, it, and back to Star Wars for a minute, mm -hmm. how do you see the parallels between both of those chapters? I mean, this is like a multi-tiered uh, story as along with Mockingjay. Well, I think, I mean, I think a story well told has the ability to connect to people. And I think that this is uh, um, extremely well done from the books all the way to the movies. And anytime that there's a universal appeal that stories have and it really connects to people on so many different uh, levels. Um, and the, the story, it grows with the, the audience. You know, the, when, the, when they first were introduced to the books and as it progresses through the, the, the movies, the, as the audience matures, they, they have a lot to grab a hold of and there's a lot to learn from it. And so um, I think it's really the, the power of a good story will have this effect. Now here you are back in Atlanta, obviously here, everybody's like, oh, your hometown. Yeah, yeah. So were you on set with everybody, like, here's where you gotta go eat, this is what we have to do. Do you have any behind the scenes stuff of your Atlanta experience and filming the movie here? Strangely, it was reversed because a lot of the cast has been, uh, was working here in Atlanta uh, for, for the other film. And so they, because I, I left in 99, I left Atlanta in 99, so when I came back to Atlanta, it's changed so much. The restaurants have changed, the food's changed, the, 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 everything has changed. So uh, it was really me reacclimating myself to my home city and like where, where I came in. So I kind of got to rediscover it and, and be a part of it again, so. Um, it was special in that way. But it was really nice because my, all my family's here, my friends that I grew up with, they got to come and be a part of this experience and, and, and it, you know, live this with me. I mean, is your family like, cause they can't believe a kid from Lawrenceville suddenly, <laughs> you know, at these film festivals and on the red carpet, and yeah. that's got to be very exciting. Yeah, I mean, I think that's most of the fun, is being able to, to share it with my friends and family and, and this experience. They've, all, they've known that this is all, anybody that's known me has known that this has been my dream ever since I can remember. So it's really, and they've always been 100% supportive. Um, so it's, it's really special that we get to all share in this. So here's something, I've, uh, you are, have been, most of the work you've done has been in the science fiction lane. Mm -hmm. uh, not most, but a lot recently. Yeah. But you're gonna be doing a, sort of a romantic movie coming up, if yes. you're not doing it now. Yes. So are you prepared for the difference between like ro romance fans and sci-fi fans? Yeah, I mean, um, uh, yes, I am prepared for the difference because I think you know the way uh, the way you look at acting is you just you you approach the story and you try to you try to tell the truth and and of that story and and serve it as best possible. So I don't really think of the effect that the work is going to bring afterwards. I just think about doing the work, and I'm always kind of surprised about the effect at, that comes from the work. What songs do you listen to to get pumped up for this role? Like when you had to, because you know, obviously military, aggressive. Uh, did you have music to pump you up or? Yeah, you know, I listen to, uh, I do. I think, I think that uh, music really fills in the subconscious in a way that influences your roles. Um, but I use a lot of movie themes because, uh, 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 in, I mean, <laughs> there's some movie themes you're like, what, what is that about? But I, I listen to, uh, to movie themes because I feel like uh, it reminds me of that time when I saw that movie and it kind of gets me in the tone and the mood of wh where we're going. So I do listen to, like I love the Braveheart movie theme, uh, Gladiator, Terminator. Um. <laughs> so wait, you're getting ready to, so you're like, yes! <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know if is I'm that like, exactly yeah, but, the way it is? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly, yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm in my mirror just beat my chest. Uh, but yeah, I listen to a lot of movie themes. I mean, I listen to, uh, uh, and also there's music that I'll choose 
it's not even, even not even music that I necessarily listen to, but if it reminded me of a certain time in my life or a certain thing that I was, uh, you know, period that I was going through, I'll listen to that music and it, and it puts me back in that mindset, which is I can take it and relate it to what the story is. Are you prepared for fans to be mad about this movie and not so much the content of the movie? It's like when you binge watch a show and then suddenly it's over, you go through a depression. Yeah. And this is it. Yeah. So are you ready for that? Well, I, you know, but I do also think that what goes with that is the satisfied feeling of a, of a conclusion of a story well told. So I think there's going to be a lot more. Uh, I think they're going to be at peace with it because it's the the way that it's ending is, it, it, in my opinion, couldn't have been done better. So uh, I think that it it's living to its highest expectation. Will super fans ever be at peace? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> they won't. No. Wes, it's been a pleasure getting to Thank know you. Thank you so much. Thank you.